Now, if you're not driving, you may be flying somewhere for Thanksgiving. And unlike the holiday we had last year, you're definitely are not going to be alone if you're flying. Indianapolis International expecting lots of people, 90,000 people to fly in and out of our airport. Yeah, we saw long lines out at the airport this morning. In fact, we want you to take a look at this tweet from Flight Radar 24. That's 7,000 flights covering the U.S. this morning. Today, we sent our Logan Gay out to the airport where she found there are a lot of happy reunions. Hey, Logan, you uh, who'd you meet today? <laughs> well, Scott, the question is, who didn't I meet? I spoke <laughs> with so many people today. The airport was packed. You know, the, like you mentioned, the Indianapolis International Airport says that they're expecting nearly 90,000 people to travel here throughout the Thanksgiving holiday. And while here, I, I witnessed many family reunions, and I will tell you, some of them were unforgettable. The past 10 months have been difficult for Emily Guyman and her husband, Christopher. He is in the Army. The couple were married only five months before Christopher was deployed to Iraq. Very hard, very hectic. Um, every day you don't know if you're going to get a phone call or somebody knocking on your door. Um, when you don't hear from somebody for so long, you start to worry. Emily, family and friends gathered at the Indianapolis International Airport to give Christopher a hero's welcome home. It's, it's awesome. Like, we're just so happy that he's home and he gets to spend Thanksgiving with us. All the other holidays and his birthday he spent in Iraq. So he actually gets to be home, and we're so thankful that he gets to come home. Christopher was among dozens of service members to arrive Wednesday. After an 18-hour flight, Christopher is looking forward to some R&R, QT, and TLC. Just relaxing and spending time with family. Just getting all this time back that I've, I've lost being gone. You don't, you don't get that much time with family as it is. Now, this is their first Thanksgiving as a couple, as a married couple, and Emily told me that Christopher is home for good, so that means they have a lot more holidays to look forward to in the future. Anne-Marie, back to you. All right, Logan, what a great assignment today. Good job. Thank you.